What is the worst example of rich people problems you have seen? My rich friend has had to respray his car multiple times because a peacock on his land keeps seeing his reflection in it and attacking it like crazy. My neighbor had peacocks when I was growing up. We had a crappy above ground pool, and the stupid birds would come over, stand on the edge, scream, and poop, usually at 3am. I was pumping gas in a rather dicey neighborhood at a cheap gas station and this older woman pulls up in her Bentley. She pulls up on the pump ahead of me and cracks her window slightly and asks me for help. I ask her what she needs. She asked me to pump her gas cause she was too scared to do it herself. I asked her what type of gas she wanted and she said the cheapest. I asked her if she was sure, with such a high end car did she really want to put in budget gas? She said it didn't matter since she could easily afford any new car she wanted. So I insert my debit card and she hands me a $100 bill and says keep the change. I fill up her tank and my own 12 gallon Honda Civic tank and made about $30 in from the change. I finish up at the gas station and jump on the freeway to see my girlfriend at the time and I am going the same way at this woman. I get off at the same exit as her she is making a right to an affluent area and I am making a left off the exit to a less nicer area. She rolls down the window and yells at me. I thought you were following me. I am so sorry where are you heading? I told her to which neighborhood I am heading to. She gives an awkward smile and says I will tell the dispatcher that you are not following me and that I am not fearing for my life. B called the cops on me thinking I was following her to rob her. I ended up getting to my destination chill with my girlfriend and didn't get pulled over. I work at a hotel and whenever I valet a Rolls Royce or Bentley I just think of this old lady. Stuff like this is why if I ever do get to a level of income that could be considered rich, why I won't flaunt it. I wouldn't want to have to be a paranoid aging dragon of a person clutching my pearls at every turn while simultaneously trying to show off the same pearls. I knew someone who traded in his Porsche and bought a new one every year. His parents were wealthy, died when he was in his teens and left him a multi-million dollar trust fund. What was sad was that he felt that he couldn't pick up women without flashing his cash and expensive sports car, but he would dump them all in a couple of weeks because they were only into me for my money. Loneliest guy I ever met. That's actually kinda sad. First when it comes to this thread. Wife is a flight attendant. Wife. What would you like to drink? Passenger. I'll have a water. Wait. Where is your water from? Wife. I- What? Passenger. What country is your water from? I only drink water from France. I went to a fine dining restaurant a few years back that offered us a chance to look at their water menu before dinner. My wife immediately said no, because obviously we're not ordering fancy water off the water menu. Still kind of disappointed we didn't at least look at it. That had to have been hilarious. I had friends who had to break their phone it was the latest iPhone model and perfectly working but there was a newer one coming out that they wanted and their parents would only buy it if their other one was broken. I had to endure these kids throwing their phones against walls and being frustrated that their phone wasn't broken yet. This makes me want to buy them an old landline phone, then strangle them with the cord. I've seen people do this and it's one of the most pathetic things I think I've ever seen. My friend wants to marry her boyfriend. They are going to school in America but are both from China, her Beijing him near Shanghai-ish. They both pay dollar sign 60,000 slash year to go to high school here. However, she can't marry him because his family only owns two houses in Hongzhou whereas hers owns seven in Beijing. I worked with a guy from China, computer programmer like me, so he was probably making high five figures, low six figures. He would take extra money every year and buy a piece of property in China. He retired early. When I was in high school my family was pretty poor and I had a fairly rich friend. My single dad spent years saving up for us to go to Disneyland. We finally went when I was 16. Fast forward a year. My friend is going to Disneyland for Halloween break. Her dad told her to invite two friends. So she invited me and another girl. I was freaking stoked. But she kept saying I don't know it's probably going to be boring. My grandma takes me to Disneyland like every break. And when we got there all she wanted to do was sit on benches and text. All of the rides were boring and she'd already been on them dozens of times. It ended up being pretty boring for me because I didn't want to go on the rides without her. Young girl. 
about 5 years of age getting ready to go into New York City to visit her grandmother, NJ Suburbs. She was at her aunt's house and did not have a pair of shoes that she liked. She called her chauffeur, told him which pair of shoes she wanted. The dude got the shoes and drove some 20 miles to deliver them and she told him he got the wrong ones and he was an idiot. No one in the family thought this was inappropriate. No one in the family thought this was inappropriate. And that is how a rich kid becomes a spoilt entitled brat. Watch the Queen of Versailles. It's riveting. And all about rich people problems. And it's not about Marie Antoinette. As the title would suggest, it's a documentary about a ridiculously rich family before and during the Great Recession and the affect effect that the housing crisis had on them. I loved that part too. It was also interesting that she had been a computer programmer before she married that guy. She wasn't dumb. She just spent 20 years totally isolated from the day to day realities of life. It can change a person. A person I know only drinks Evian or Voss water because he is allergic to tap. Evian is naive spelled backwards. My cousin's best friend yelled at her dad and said that she hated him because he wouldn't take her to London to buy a dress, even though the exact same dress was available from the exact same store back home. She needed the one from London because they make things better over there. Super I hatched docked in Italy at a high-end marina. Owners wanted the bottled Perrier water for a party they were having in a day or two. They wanted the marina to supply them with a pallet of said water. Marina said it was against policy for them to get a pallet of water to their boat. So they get a private jet from America to fly in a pallet of said water and get it dropped to the boat. Price was about 28,000 US dollars as far as I remember. But even that amount seems low for that. I had to help a girl pay her tuition bill. She was upset because she genuinely thought the process of putting in credit card information was difficult. Yes, she took her dad's credit card and paid 20k for the semester like it was buying a stick of gum. It put my tuition on my parents credit card if I could. 40k of purchases would end give them a nice pile of points. And it'd obviously transfer them the money to pay it off. Drove a client's wife home from the airport after the first big snowstorm in Boston this year. I felt SOOO bad as she told me oh. Roger's so sad. They could only clear the snow from in front of two of our garage bays. He wanted to take his BMW out, but he's stuck driving my Mercedes for another week. Oh. Well how does he go on S? I went on an amazing trip, southern USA, with my girlfriend at the time during the summer and she had an uncle who was very rich and she was used to all his wealth. I was not. I couldn't believe that we got to do all the amazing things we did. Money was just not an object or something you had to worry about. The third day of the trip I was getting aboard his yacht. He owned the largest one in the club, and it was incredible. Glass stairs, stone walls and dark beautiful wood. We all sat down near the back at a table and the wife freaked out. She yelled, where are the mats? Apparently there were supposed to be mats to be set down on the table before the giant glass bowl of chips and freshly made guacamole could be placed in front of us. She was really mad and almost embarrassed. I've never been so weirded out by someone's anger. I couldn't believe that it was such a problem I said to myself, it's fine. Seriously I could walk in there and grab them in 0.4 seconds. I'll never forget and I learned that extremely rich people don't have the same kind of problems that regular people do. Good thing they didn't serve nuts out of a bag instead of on a plate. Probably would have had to turn the yacht around. I was once friends with a Chinese girl whose family net worth appeared to be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. She told me a story about her rich uncle who owned a super yacht and loved to travel around the world. Apparently his favorite thing to do was pull up into a port and bathe in the stairs of everyone admiring his yacht since it was always the biggest one. Well one day he goes somewhere, say the Bahamas, and he pulls into the port and he isn't getting the usual attention since someone else happened to have a bigger yacht than him for once. This girl said it ruined his whole weekend. He was in a terrible mood and couldn't enjoy anything. I was speechless. Also, this is the same girl that constantly complained about how all her friends weren't that smart or nice and how she doesn't know what to do with all her free time and money. That girl taught me something. Apparently there are a lot of rich people that have so little problems. They just make them up. And yes, I've seen her Facebook pictures, met her friends, seen her cars, and talked to her long enough to confirm that she probably wasn't lying.
Apparently there are a lot of rich people that have so little problems. They just make them up. I think it's human nature to perceive anything to be a problem if it is worse than our expectations. Regardless of wealth or class. I imagine that a lot of the problems that an average poor American has would seem made up to many, many people in less fortunate countries. Had a former friend who went into despair because Hurricane Sandy flooded her living room of her childhood home. Told everyone she was homeless now and she knew what it felt like to lose everything the way her Jewish ancestors did in World War II. Thing is she had an apartment she lived in on the island. Her parents owned several more vacation homes up and down the coast. They were a little inconvenienced maybe, but far from homeless. One guy I know on the island lost a boat during Sandy but ended up finding a different one in the middle of his house. I worked for a gal who had a speaker go out in her Ferrari and she refused to drive any further under those circumstances so she pulled over to wait for one of her house staff to bring her the Porsche. A true story. I observed something similar. A guy had to pull over with his Lamborghini because of bird dung right on the center of the windshield. He didn't know how the windshield wiper works. I was invited to a graduation party, hosted by a very wealthy couple whose daughter had just graduated from Yale. Her father came out, in front of the guests, displaying his Rolex and Cartier watches, asking which one of the two expensive watches the group thought would be the more appropriate for the occasion. Everyone just looked at each other, silently, not quite sure what to say. That peasant. No Pataks, Audemars, Vacher and Constantine. Back when the recession hit, one of my very best friend's family was very distraught, because they had to sell one of their three private jets. I occasionally hung out with a kid whose dad was super rich. He would just ask for money and get it. He tried to use her ATM and had no idea how to, so he asked me or someone else to get money for him. It was so confusing for him. Most simple tasks were because he was raised not to lift a finger. Ironically enough, in a lot of countries being annoyed that someone doesn't know how to use an ATM is a rich person problem. I worked for a non-profit that helped extremely low income women start their own business. These women would give up food to scrape together enough money to join our program. One of our ED said she wished she could relate to our clients more, but she has never been poor. She owned two homes in one of the most expensive zip codes in the US. Also, another woman whom I really did respect but not always agree with, believed people chose to be in poverty. We would debate for days about that statement. I realized working there that people who run advocacy programs for poverty have no idea what it's really like. This is a problem because policy and lawmakers are looking at these institutions for advisement on drafting new social safety nets and welfare programs to help the working poor and they just have no clue. It motivated me to go back and get a master's degree to fight this. I grew up super poor and can speak from experience not theory. I mean good for the first person to realize they can't relate instead of using some far-fetched example of that one time they had to postpone a vacation because their private jet needed repairs and claiming they know what it is like to be poor since they didn't take a vacation. My boss complained to me recently that they own too much land and too many properties. She's like don't own too much land and properties. It's just a hassle. My great aunt said the same thing once. They do own a ton of land though. I joke about it when I drive across their ranch to go fishing. I tell whoever I'm with god it's such a pain having this much land. It takes forever to get to the lake. It always gets me. But the drive is like 30 minutes. Which is actually annoying. A kid I know claimed he wasn't rich saying, I don't get to pilot my helicopter as much anymore. The guy sitting next to him, when prompted to define an income bracket for middle class, couldn't answer. He eventually arrived at a 700,000 annual income as a rough estimate. I live in the part of my country where internet is really expensive. 16 megabits per second plans are considered plans for extremely rich people. One fine day, one of my friends threw a fit at his dad because he was getting 15 megabits per second instead of 16 for like an hour. Holy crap dude I live on a 2 Mbps connection which turns into a 512 Kbps connection after a 30 GB data cap. I just moved to a 50 Mbps from a 2 Mbps. Life is not the same anymore. I saw a guy on Instagram who couldn't wait for a car he custom ordered so he went and bought one from the dealer while he waited for the custom one. 
I've heard of this more than once. Custom orders on high-end cars can take a long time 6 months, a year, maybe more. Sometimes the dealer will throw in a cheap lease of a stock model until the custom build is delivered. Dunno if this is a problem exactly but I was on the tube in South London and a bunch of young banker types in fancy suits were there with their equally well dressed arm candy girlfriends. And one guy was like everyone keeps telling me to get a Bentley but I'm more of a Lambo man. This was at a point in my life where I was living off one pound boxes of pasta from Tesco so it was a bit of a surreal moment. My London banker friend is having a baby. She's upset that Jimmy Choo doesn't make diaper bags. I know I'm late to this thread but oh man. I work at a place where I interact with a lot of rich people. I have come into contacts with lots of rich people problems. Here are a few I've witnessed. 1. 14 year old kid looking despondent. And I asked him what was wrong. He replied, we're going to Paris. Again. I hate it. It's so boring. 2. Mum's talking. I took her to her little friend's birthday party but I didn't know what to bring. Do kids like coach bags still? I have no idea. 3. Ladies talking what are you guys doing this summer? Second mon replies oh nothing. Last summer was crazy busy so this summer we are taking it easy. We are spending one week in London and one week in Hawaii. But other than that nothing. We are relaxing this summer. 3. Ladies talking. They can be expensive. But buying nicer cars like Porsches and Mercedes is worth it. We had a GMC once and we only drove it for like 4 years and we had to have something fixed. And it just felt old. There are many more. But those are a few. My buddy had to rent a cabin in for his ski trip because his mom just had theirs redecorated for a magazine spread which hadn't been photographed yet. This same guy couldn't remember which company card he should put his $4k strip club tab on. He really needs an assistant to help keep track of these things. He's interviewed some but hasn't hired one yet. Last week was rough. I'm a nanny for a rich family. A few examples. When I get paid, in cash. My boss says man now I'm gonna have to go all the way to the bank to get more cash. When they travel they prefer two bedroom suites. One time they could only get a one bedroom and he said, well that just ruins the whole trip. My car got broken into and I mentioned it felt so awful to drive it knowing someone was in it. His idea of empathizing? That happened to me. I had to buy a new one. My mom works at a Baptist church. The pastor makes somewhere between 9100k a year with all his insurance and gas paid. He is rich as heck, owns two homes and has a ton on money on top of his salary. When he takes mission trips and pastor conventions, he holds offerings to pay for his airfare and everything else. Meanwhile, other people that come with him pay their own way. This is a church full of poor and retired people. Disgusting was at a marina in the Bahamas to do laundry, stock up on water and supplies with my 25 year old bitter sailboat, was walking the dog when I met a guy walking his dog, he was off of a 140 foot boat with substantial crisply uniformed crew and could not stop complaining how the Bahamas government had charged him $250 for a 6 month cruising permit fishing license, same rate I paid, btw, he went on and on, how they don't have lighthouses, boys etc. He had to be paying that much to dock for the night, let alone crew and fuel. Boat probably cost 10 million or more. I ended the conversation by saying I had paid more than that for the bottom paint which kept barnacles from growing on my hull. A friend of mine who has considerably more money than me, though it doesn't take much, was always asking me to come on expensive trips with her, and I had to keep turning her down because I couldn't afford it. She'd say stuff like oh go on. Treat yourself and I'd have to explain that I literally don't have the money. It's not that I can't don't want to spend it. It does not exist in my bank account. I eventually had to sit her down and explain that I'm poor. I told her about how I couldn't afford to buy much food so during work days I'd live off the free fruit and coffee at the office. I showed her how all my shoes have holes and so I'd line them with plastic bags to stop the rain getting in. I explained that I cut my own hair and wash my clothes in water, no detergent. I pointed out that I'd long ago put all of my possessions that had any sort of value on eBay. I wasn't trying to get sympathy, I was only trying to explain why. For the hundredth time, I was turning down her invitation for shopping trips girls nights out weekends away etc. 
She looked at me and nodded in understanding. MM, I know what you mean. Things have been really tight for me recently. I'm so skint at the moment that I've had to cut my weekly manicure and spa days down to just two a month. My godmother's twin nephews complained about the colors of the Ferraris they got for their 14th birthday. They wanted the colors each other had but refused to trade each other because just because they were twins didn't mean they had to share everything their father got them replaced with the correct colors and within 6 months both of them had custom paint jobs anyway. By the time they were old enough to drive them they hated the cars because they were old and both got McLarens anyway. I have tons of stories about those little shoots. But I can't complain too much. Their father played in the NBA and knew what it was like to have nothing. He was a good guy even though he gave into their crap way too often. Every time I saw him I would leave with thousands of dollars in clothes and shoes that he only wore once or not at all because his kids didn't want used clothes. I didn't give a frick. Yay most things were a bit too big for me but frick it. I had 12 pairs of shoes that cost $500 each for free. Wearing 2 pairs of socks to make them fit better was a minor inconvenience. Hey, if Evie Kid grew up with a full sized court in their house then 99% of them would be better than me. I don't have skill I have opportunities. That's the classiest crap I ever done read. An executive had to have repairs done on the bridge that went to his 75 acre estate. And so the bridge had to be closed. This created issues where some staff members who normally went home every day had to stay overnight and certain staff members got the day off. My mom's got a new boss at her not-for-profit domestic abuse prevention job. The woman didn't like the line of work and had even told some of her employees she was only there because she enjoyed not asking her husband for spending money, which is actually respectable. However she didn't enjoy her work environment and had over half of the current staff replaced with people she felt better suited her work environment. Within 2 months of her arrival 6 of the women earning less than 40k a year, most of which who were single and depended on the income, were let go. Basically so this woman could find her work day more tolerable and so she could spend her money on non-essential crap. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.